Good evening and welcome back once again. So that's the end of season two now and we're already into season three. We finished last season league winners. We also won the Europa League and we got to the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey. Let's hope in this season we can actually go on to win the Copa del Rey. In this episode, what we're going to do is have a look at the first few games before the league starts. We've got the UEFA Super Cup to play, which is against Atletico Madrid. And we've also got the Spanish Super Cup to play, which is across two legs, which is also against Atletico Madrid so we've got three games against them going to do a highlights package and we're going to have a look at some of the transfers that we've made so I thought it'd be actually worthwhile to start with the players that we've signed so far bear in mind this is after we've actually played these three games which we'll see shortly but as you can see Lovato a centre back he's 22 80 overall rated so he's pretty much on a par with Kosinu and he's already better than our second choice Omar Adjik. He's got very high physical contact and aggression, exactly what we wanted. Some very good all-round stats. And he's got man marking as a skill. As you can see from his development sheet, he's actually got a fair way to develop in the next few years. He will be starting alongside Kosinu or going well. Now, on to what is, without doubt, our star signing of this transfer window. Musa Diaby got him for a reasonable amount of money, 82 overall rated. He's a left winger, but we are going to be playing him on the right. Now, remember, in the last few games, we have mentioned maybe looking for someone that can really compete with Perez on that right-hand side, or maybe even someone that's a little bit better. And here he is, left-footed. His acceleration is insane. I've played, obviously, a couple of games with him, and you'll see in a moment, he's very good, full of loads of skills, already that he's got and as you can see he's still got a fair way to improve now that graph may not be very high but i can guarantee that you'll be getting higher than the 82 that he currently is we have brought in Debushi from the youth squad. He's going to probably be our second choice right back as the youngster. McDowell's actually gone out on loan and obviously our first choice will be Emerson. We've also brought in Gedson, who is a sort of amalgamation of some of the centre midfielders that we've already got. We've also brought in a centre midfielder in Gedson. I think he's on a par with the likes of Mariba and Herrera, but he's also got quite a bit of pace if you have a look. Speed and acceleration is massive. He can play in any sort of the midfielder roles, balance, stamina. He's going to be one of those players that keeps running throughout the whole game. Very good player. I've played with him already and he's very solid. Just more competition for those centre midfield places. And again, just looking at his development graph, he's still on the up. So hopefully we can get him above that 80 mark. Now, a really nice signing from Korea. We have got Lee Kang-in, or is it Kang-in Lee? I believe it might be. That might be the right way around. Attack midfielder, probably one to compete with Vieira but he also can play on the right wing as well. Can play in a number of positions. As you can see, stats pretty good all round. Nothing spectacular in one department, but very good all round. And he's only 21 years old, so he will be able to improve a lot. He's got a few skills already. And development wise, I think he's one of the players that's got the most potential. I think he could even get into the mid 80s by the time he's had a couple of seasons here. We've also brought in Zirkov as a left back from the youth squad he might be one that we just end up selling on we have put him up for for loan with the idea to just to make some money off him whether they, it's just a loan fee that we get or if he gets transferred out because to be honest i'm quite happy with Teixeira and Baka in those left back positions and as you can see looking down the bottom we've got a few players out on loan Bajer has gone out on loan just because we bought in Kang and Lee and we bought in Diaby I don't think he's really going to get a lot of game time but I didn't really want to sell him at this stage because he's been a very good player so he's out on loan and we'll see what he's like when he comes back and again some of the youth squad we've got Danny Garcia he's out on loan Balbuena who was one of our uh, main sort of second choice centre backs last year with the fact that we've bought in another centre back he's gone out on loan just to build up his uh, stats and McDowell will be third choice right back at the moment so he's gone out on loan and also post he's still out on loan at the moment i don't think we'll be keeping him to be honest when he comes back i think we'll look to sell him and as you can see not a lot of money left in the transfer we've got just under half a million left in there and we've got just over 10 million in the salary budget so we've got a bit of leeway when we want to do some contract renewals although i've been having a look through our team for the majority of our squad all of them have still got at least a couple of years left although no doubt they'll be looking for a bit of a pay rise soon i would think and I thought what we'd do is look at the highlights of the first three games that we've played in this season before the league actually starts. The first game being against Atletico Madrid in the UEFA Super Cup. Moussa Diaby opening the scoring on his debut. Xerxes with the assist, a nice little 1-2. And he slotted away.
Atletico actually equalised through Sol to make it 1-1 just after 12 minutes. However, in the second half, Zerks, he actually took the lead. A nice little turn. Slotted away into the left-hand corner. Very nice finish. And Zirks, he actually got fouled after about 66 minutes just on the outside of the box. Up step Mudrik to take the free kick from around about 20 yards out. Really nice finish from Mudrik there. It's the first time he scored a free kick from us. He doesn't normally take them actually. It's normally the likes of Cousins or Vieira. Then we'll have the debutant, the regen, Debushi coming in. Nice little ball. And Yobi with a second of the night. To make it 4-1. Atletico did pull one back, Morata hitting the post and Ben Rama with a follow up tapping it in to make it 4 2. But we were already just about into added on time at that stage. And that's how it finished. UEFA Super Cup champions. very nice way to start the season and then we went into the Spanish Super Cup once again obviously against Atletico Madrid the first leg and we got off to a very quick start Ruben Castro playing in Perez and a wonderful first time finish top left corner great way to start the game with inside five minutes
Lee Kang in had a magnificent game playing in Carlos Perez here, who laid it back for Ruben Castro. Really nice finish there. Perez had a great night as well, as you'll see coming up. So he scored one and an assist. And again, those two combined. Ruben Castro playing in Perez. Back to Castro, and he slots it away. So Perez already with two assists and a goal. Castro with a double. Now DePaul did pull one back for Atletico on the half hour mark to give him a bit of a chance. But not long after, Perez plays it across to Martinelli with the tap in. That's Perez's third assist of the night already. Into the second half, Ruben Castro plays to, gets a little deflection, and Martinelli gets his second of the night, makes no mistake there. And that made it 5-1 on the night, just before 57 minute mark. And that was actually the end of the first leg, taking a four-goal lead into the second leg. Atletico Madrid got it all to do. Going into the second leg, Atletico needed an early goal to have any chance in the game. And they actually got one through Marcos Llorente just after 12 minutes. Give them a little bit of hope at least. However, spoilers, a second didn't actually come. In fact, there were no other goals in the first half. On the 60-minute mark, Diaby played in Cousins. And no hesitation from him. Cousins had a really good night, actually.
and not long after that Carlos Perez played Xerxes who powered through really good finish lifted it over the keeper and that made it 2-1 on the night Then Kusons out on the left played a wonderful floater ball for Uzerxi, who this time scored with his head. Kusons was running the midfield in this game, played really well. Xerxes then turned provider, laying a nice little ball through to Carlos Perez, who took one touch and smashed it in. Now that made a 4-1 on the night, a 9-2-1 aggregate. And just to finish the game off nicely, Mudrik laid it back to Kusons, who just calmly slotted it away in the bottom left corner. Wonderful finish to the game, 5-1 on the night and 10-2 in aggregate. That's how it finished, Spanish Cup champions. And you see all the three matches there. It's a bit strange playing against Atletico Madrid three times in the space of, what, about five days. But we beat them three times. I'm sure they'll be happy to see the back of us. But UEFA Super Cup champions and also Spanish Super Cup champions too. First match of the season properly in the league is against Mallorca at home. Really good way to start the season. We've got two trophies already and a nice home match to start with. And as you can see, this is the lineup that we will traditionally be going in with, unless there's any changes needed to be made in terms of injuries or tired legs or form. So we're going to go in with Schubert as usual as our number one goalkeeper. We've got Backer, Emerson at right back, Kosanu, an absolute solid defender, and our new boy Lovato, who will be taking the place of Omar Ajik in that left-hand centre-back position. Midfield, we're going to stick with what we had. We've got Herrera, Cousins, and Fabio Vieira. But and as you can see now, we've got quite a bit of choice. We've got the likes of Mariba that can fill in any of those spots, but he likes to play a little bit deeper. Gedson's probably the same. And Lee Kang in in that uh, attack midfielder spot that Fabio Vieira loves. Top three, Castro, probably our number one choice for that central role. 
Martinelli on the left and Diaby on the right. But look at that bench. We've got Carlos Perez, Mudrik and Zirksi on the bench who were absolute magnificent players for us. Diaby can also play on the left as well. Martinelli can play up top. We've got players that can play in multiple positions now. And even those that are not on the bench, we've got the likes of Ogbonna, Omarajic, Zirkov and Teixeira that can slot in as and when needed. I doubt there will be any transfers in and out in the next few days before the transfer window closes, but I will keep you up to date if anything changes. Once again, thank you very much for joining. I'm really looking forward to this season three. We're really building that squad. We're improving the actual base foundations that we've got there in terms of players. We're just gradually improving the players that we've already got. And we're buying some really key players that can improve our squad. Our actual first team lineup, Diaby, is going to be a superstar, I believe, from seeing him in the first couple of matches. But thank you very much for joining. Hopefully you can join us next time for that first league match against Mallorca. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and think about subscribing to the channel if you're not already and I'll see you then. Cheers.